Hey there, Scorpios. How are you doing today? Uh, I hope this video finds you guys vibing absolutely abundantly. Uh, you should be getting your little flex on, Scorpios, because uh, we are in that fall energy where things are falling into place for you, Scorpios. Shout out to you, Scorpios. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's such a beautiful feeling. There's a lot of optimism. I do get the I do get the energy of impatience. You could have someone impatient around you. You could be impatient about something. Something is about to turn around if you are impatient. But if you feel uh, urgency to for something to happen. Remember, it's all about divine timing. Divine timing builds patience in us all because we want to run through it, don't we? It's like we want to run through it just to get to the best part, y'all. And I know, but it all comes with it. You know how, you know how us human folk do, Scorpios. We just want to hurry up, enjoy the fun part of life, the things that make us happy, the thing that, that, that keeps us in high vibrations here, happy all the time, nothing going wrong. But then that then we won't get the lesson out of that. Well, we won't get the lesson out of that. So don't count it strange when you find yourself in uh, diver places here. When you find those tower moments, uh, those endings, uh, that's a part of who you are. But. The beautiful thing about who you are, Scorpio, is that it's also a part of new opportunities, uh, new beginnings and transformation, Scorpio. So who can go wrong with transformation, especially when that is who you are, Scorpio. So shout out to you, Scorpio. This had to stick in my nails. Time for me to get my nails done. Yeah, I just don't feel like going sitting up there. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. I'm just... I went down to Hot Springs because they were giving away a truck and um, I had a little free play and I was playing and y'all check this out. I was on a machine and down there in Hot Springs, you can't just, the only thing they allow you to do is just to um, just record your winnings unless you sneak and just, you know, or record your bonuses. And I was on, I forgot what, what slot machine I was on. I think it was a, um, a holding, holding spin, but I sat there in that, that machine and I played for a little while and I'm like, well, you know, may, maybe it's ran through and I, I scooted over. <laughs> and I know this has happened to somebody before. I've seen it. I've heard them talking about it, but it's just like, <laughs> what? And then a young lady sat in the seat that I just got out of. Her and this other person here. Now they were bubbly. They were, they were vibrant. They were, I mean, they were kicking it, you know, plus that they have a, a, a like a little club. Uh, at that casino in Hot Springs on Saturday. Uh, so don't y'all know she hit the major about two or three minis in the freaking minor on a 10 cent nub. <laughs> Imagine me sitting there next to her after I just moved. <laughs> Scorpio. I'm like, crap, but then, but then I had to tell myself it's all about divine and time. If that happened for her, that was supposed to be for her. Mine is coming, but I'm like, should I have stayed? <laughs> so you know what, Scorpio, you know what? I just got this revelation in just sharing this story with you. Sometimes we give up too soon. Now you have to know what it's worth you fighting for. You remember, we have to choose our battles wisely. Sometimes we leave too soon. Sometimes we don't uh, follow it through a little bit longer. Sometimes it takes patience to endure uh, the journey for a better beginning here. And I know that's hard to do because most people are not going to feel that way because we're going to feel like if you keep on investing in something and it doesn't give back, then it must not be for you. Right. And that could be about the slide. Love anything. We, you know, naturally, we're going to feel that way. But what if it's part of your journey and your lesson to see how long you will endure, uh, how, how patient you are with not getting the results, but you're still having to put that work in. 
Scorpio, I mean, that's what Spirit was telling me when that woman dropped all them things. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't say nothing because I knew that was for her. But I also, it's like, but, but I'm sharing this, but it's like it's coming to me now. It's about patience. And anything that we do, it's about the patience and the endurance and about our attitude and our perception while we're in it. Because even though we're having to endure with patience, are we going to be complaining while we waiting? Because, you know, usually that's what we do. We're going to complain. We're going to find something negative to talk about when we should be focusing on the positive. So I feel like if your perception is, I know my work is going to pay off. I know whatever I'm investing. I know my diet is going to work off. I know this exercise, whatever it is, if I just keep at it, I know it's going to work out in the end for my highest good. And I think that that's the key. I think that's the key. And I'm just telling you, because check it out, just because it don't happen then mean that you have to keep on working because you're still building patience in your endurance. So it ain't never a no. It's just that you're still learning patience while you are going and enduring. That's all. So don't ever think of it as it ain't going to happen because that's the lesson too. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, and, and this is like people, you keep on, like I say, you keep on investing, 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 and you ain't getting nothing. What you going to do? You going to run. <laughs> we now we know Scorpios will run quick here. <laughs> so that is your word. That is your message, Scorpio. That spirit just showed me patience, endurance. Something beautiful is worth waiting for. It doesn't mean you get to sit back and relax. No, you just keep on working. Keep on planting those seeds and know that surely it is going to work out for you. You're going to get that increase. You're going to get that. You're going to get the fruits of your labor. You're going to get the freaking fruits of your labor, honey, because you deserve it because you are Scorpio. So let me see real quick what's going on. I'm going to pull you a card here from your healing spirits. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpio specifically? How are you doing today, Scorpio? I hope this video finds you guys vibing. Uh, shout out to you. Uh-uh. <sighs> what you got falling on the floor? Now, look here. These cards fell off the floor. I'm just going to tell you what they represent. You have the Eight of Cups. The Knight of Swords, the Tower, and the Page of Cups. I feel like somebody wants to confront you about something. I feel like some, I feel like you may have get an unexpected communication from somebody. Okay, somebody who you've already walked away from wants to talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That, I guess that's overall energy for Scorpio. Somebody you walked and <laughs> look who came out. King of Swords. See? See, they talking now, Scorpios. But welcome, Scorpio. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah. I said, Scorpios, welcome, welcome. Uh oh, let's see what else we got. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> You have the emperor, the the Virgo, I mean the hermit, and the six of wands. Somebody wants, somebody's about to get your attention. You got an Aries trying to rush in on you, or a Virgo here. Somebody wants to, somebody wants to get things clear here. Somebody recognizes, somebody wants your attention here. Or somebody is noticing and recognizing you. That could be it. Like I say, somebody got somebody wants to talk to you. They go to Ten of Cups and they go to Ace of Wands. <laughs> so this is what you got going on in your life. This is what you got going on all in your energy. So you got commitments. You got passion. Y your passion is is either you are igniting the passion within someone or you are about to be reignited in your own passion. Maybe you're about to buy a new home. Maybe you're about to move. 
Maybe you're about to level it up here, move in together. Maybe you're decorating here. Maybe you maybe you in the decorating mood here and you got that you got that you got that <laughs> fall Scorpio vibe and you got it looking all homey and things here, Scorpios. <clears throat> what else, Spirit? What else is the energy around Scorpios here? Spirit, what's going on? For my Scorpios, shout out to my Patreon members. My Scorpios, my members here over here as well. Shout out to you. You can also become a member. Check out the description box below. Page of Pentacles. Good news, baby. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So you got some good news coming in. I feel like somebody wants to talk to you, and I feel like this is urgent. <laughs> I feel like a urgent. somebody has an urgency to talk to you. So let's see. What are your healing spirits? What, what message do Scorpio need to know pertaining to their healing? One card for Scorpio spirit. Scorpio, this is a general. It's not going to resonate for every amazing Scorpio out there. So you, you know more about your situation than I do. I don't know at all. <laughs> I'm just reading these cards. Okay, that came out. So you have go within. Go within. See? Times like this calls you to go in. Times like this is because you need to go in. Times like this will have you going within. This is what, now this could be somebody that is going within, dealing with, uh, pertaining to you. This could be, Spirit could be telling you to stay within, stay connected. Um, don't pay attention externally because it can be too negatively distracting. There is a peace that there's a there's a sense of retreat when you go within. There is comfort, there's protection, there's healing. It makes more sense when you stay connected, Scorpio, and you go within. When you start focusing on all this external outside stuff, child, it's just too much. It says, Scorpio, no matter how much you have learned or how much you are seen to be the trusted one that others go to for help and guidance, you must always remember to give something back to yourself. Mm. Guardian spirits are telling you that you are also a sentient being. And um, as such, you will at times require regeneration from the healing powers of the universe. Meditation is good for mind and soul and allowing yourself to be still when required will bring balance and contentment, which in turn will create clarity and peace. The inner you, Scorpio, is your environment. So remember to treat yourself well. Okay, can't nobody love you like yourself, baby. But you gotta be healed to love yourself because sometimes we don't love ourselves because we need to heal. Ain't that something though? That's why Spirit is saying, baby, look, if you feel like you can't find love out here because everybody on this bull and everybody doing this and you, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like Spirit saying, now, 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 now look here, child, take your shelter within because you're delicate. Some of you guys, you may be at a vulnerable stage right now, okay? I feel like you may be vulnerable and spirit is protecting you, okay? Because in order for spirit to tell you to go within, then there is like the risk of falling prey to negativity because maybe you are more impacted by the energies. Um, you know, especially being a Scorpio, especially if you are an empath, spirit is, you know, suggesting that you just kind of hold back, which I feel like is all of your readings are saying the same thing. It is best that you focus on Scorpio. Um, you, you know, because as soon as you meet that person here, Scorpios, <clears throat> you're going to forget about yourself. You may not totally let yourself go, but it's about to learn. It's, it's about learning to love yourself like you love everybody else. Shut it down. Everybody, everybody got to wait. <laughs> Scorpio on vacation. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Any more cards I need to pull out for you? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to do tarot. Did t okay, yeah. So let's see. So Spirit is telling you to go within. So go within means 
you shutting down. Think about yourself. Think about your emotions. Think about your health. Think about your mental. Think about your stability. Think about everything about you that are always throwing their cape on and trying to rescue everyone else. It's almost like Spirit is saying, don't worry about your lover. Don't worry about no relationship. Don't worry about the family. All is good. Right now, I want you to take care of yourself. There you go. Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. Mm. See the Page of Pentacles. Your back is turned to this and the Two of Wands. And there go the Tower card. All right, Spirit, what's going on here with Scorpios? It's almost like you don't know. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, Page of Wands. Judgment. Death. That's your energy. I feel like you five of Pentacles. I feel like, go. I don't know, I just felt like there is a need to care for yourself here. It's almost like you deserve to be pampered and loved. And, and But I feel like it's on a spiritual level. So I feel like the, the type of love you deserve and desire, a person can't feel that because it comes from within. So I feel like this is universal love that is engulfing you and rocking you, Scorpios, protecting you. It's almost like your Mother Nature saying, uh, Mother Earth is saying, look at child, just, just come on in here and rest inside my love. Nope, nope, don't overthink things. Don't start worried about that. Nope, 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 nope. Now, now, now what do you want, Scorpio? No, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know Miss Jones need this. Yeah, I know they need that. I know the key. Yeah, I know, but what do you need, Scorpio? What would you like? That's what I feel like the universe is doing for you because you keep on getting the same energy and it ain't just my reading because I see titles. It's almost like you got the same energy trying to pull you back in. It's kind of like I'm talking about y'all had two people. Justice card here. I just I just I had a, a sister. Um, I have to call a karmic sister because that's what she acts like. She's just so toxic. But every time I see her, she's always telling me that this old guy that I used to date, y'all used to date this guy when I was in my freaking 20s. <laughs> I was 20 some years old, y'all. <laughs> and she used to tell me how he done dated her friend and everything. But I'm not into y'all. I don't go that I don't go that far back. I don't care. I don't care what we had. If I didn't stay consistently in your life in some kind of way, I do not go that far back. I don't, I'm not interested. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not trying to trying to sound mean, but I'm just saying 30 years. I mean, man. And so she would always tell me about this person. I would always tell her that I'm not interested and I would let her know. Yeah. And in a way, I'm like, why are you still trying to put him off on me? You know, when he messing with your home girl, she was like, they wasn't messing around. But she tried to make me think or she want me to think that I don't know that she didn't already told me because she just talks a lot. But she had the nerve to come out here again. And this was like a month later, the same old stuff. Talking about this, such and such been asking about you. And, I, and I, didn't, I didn't respond to it. But all I could think of was, wow, you must really don't care nothing for me. So I don't know what I want. So if, if, if you done already told me that this guy asking about me, you know, 30 years later, <laughs> after he done been through whatever and I done been through whatever, we done both been through whatever 30 some years. I ain't trying to, I'm just saying that, you know, some people are so used to backtracking and staying connected with toxic people. You know what I'm saying? But 30 years, I done got all I can get out of that. I ain't trying to go back and do nothing. I can't get nothing out of you. But it was just an insult. It is an insult. And she's an Aries. Just an insult, y'all. But needless to say, <laughs> I got so pissed off, I had to give her a few choice words for her to recognize that this is just ridiculous. <sighs> then I had to block her. Yeah, I had to block her because I didn't want her to talk. You know, we'd go back and forth and I didn't want to. It shouldn't be an argument because she would actually try to argue with me why I'm telling her no and why I got a problem. You know, that's just, that, that's just so toxic here. And, you know, we have been like this all of our lives, here, Scorpios, but I'm her big sister, Paige of Cups. All right, but Ada Cups, so you have to walk away from things. I'm like, I don't talk to her. 
I'm not around her, but the after clear blue, you come. What if I got to do? What if I, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't it be disrespectful? Oh, you think you can do it? Just call me and tell me some guy asking, girl, we, <laughs> she can't even drop it like it's hot no more. Okay, so we up there. <laughs> You still doing that same old stuff? Some people's minds don't change, Scorpio. All thing they do is they body change, but their minds stay the same. And those type of people I run from. I don't care if we are some kin, because sometimes just because you got the same blood don't mean you the same. So, yeah, you may have people reaching out to you on some BS here, you know. People reaching out to you, Scorpio, because... All of a sudden, I'm telling you, life be life in Scorpio. People don't miss good, genuine people until, because you know something wrong, 30 <laughs> some years. If somebody reach way back 30 years, I'm going to be suspecting, I'm going to be suspicious. <laughs> because y'all, I had ran into him a couple of times in those times, and each time he never tried to hit on me, never. We just say hi, you know, we respectful. He was a good guy when I dated. He was very sweet, but I, I, I grew up. So I, out of all this time I see you out, you don't say nothing. Now all of a sudden it's just disgusting. So it make me think, well, what's going to happen in your life that you got to go back 30 years? <laughs> I would probably say maybe three or four years, uh, maybe. But I feel like once I'm done with you, I don't want to deal with you no more because no telling what you've been out there doing is how I feel. And I know that's how y'all feel too. And that's why sometimes you have to walk away. But look, every time you walk away, every time you go away, you take a piece of them with you. <laughs> every time you walk away, yeah. You take a piece of them with you. Scorpio, every time you walk away, <laughs> see there? Every time you walk away, people know you, you real. But see, a lot of times people take this energy of a weak energy. Isn't that crazy here? They, they look upon this queen of cups or this king of cups energy as naive or just too weak. But we be the realest ones here. But then all of a sudden they're going to start missing you. Ain't that something? Because usually they try to come back to Scorpio. Scorpio ain't trying to go back to you. Once Scorpio done made up their mind, uh, 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 that is over. <laughs> I said, I feel my help coming in here. <laughs> Once Scorpio makes up Scorpio's mind that it is over, it ain't nothing you can do. It ain't nothing you can say. I don't care how many hula hoops you do, tricks, whatever. It is, because Scorpio beating already got over you. Because what Scorpio going to keep on doing is thinking of the reason why she left, she and he left you to begin with. And then it's going to start all over again. And Scorpio going to be like, hell no, I don't want that again. I got away. I'm free. So, so let's see. <laughs> oh, Scorpios, bear with me. Bear with me. <coughs> so you have the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have Judgment, Taurus. You have Death, Scorpio. You have Justice, Libra. Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and the Capricorn. Page of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries here. So you got a couple of, you got somebody, I feel like you've turned your back on, Scorpio. Your back is not to them. You're not paying attention to them. You could very well be going within. You could be saving all your good Scorpio love for yourself. And you didn't put the time out and you're not chasing nobody. You're just trying to make sure you're okay. Because I get that. But you got judgment and justice here, Scorpio. So something is more than just a spiritual awakening here. This is answering something here. Final judgment. Uh feel like somebody here is about to address something. The verdict they're saying you got, look, you got judgment and justice. Maybe you're about to get the verdict in. Then you got the Ten of Cups. The Page of Cups is almost like somebody, somebody's coming in. Look, they go justice again. It just amazes me how that Eight of Cups is, and that Six of Cups is right there. You may have a couple of youngsters checking you out, but you ain't paying them no dust because, like I say, you're back to them. 
You may have a lot of go immature gossip about you, Scorpio, okay? You got three pages here. If you're dealing with multiple people, then they're talking. They may not be talking to each other, but they do discuss you. Especially if you ended things with them because they scratching their head. <laughs> you know they scratching their head, baby, because they always thinking about you because they want you back. And then look who here. The freaking king of swords again, Scorpios. Oof, y'all, when that air energy, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I know that. Look, if they go Libra, <laughs> see? Queen of Swords in the reverse here. <clears throat> All right, we're not going to do reverses. But they want somebody won that truck. I think they said that truck was worth $70,000. It was just so packed in there. It was just, ugh. ugh. But like I said, I feel like my energy was off too. Because I, I, like I said, I just came because I had free play and I just thought maybe I'd try. Who knew? Maybe my name did get pulled for the truck. I'm just saying. I always show up for those drawings. So, but yeah, yeah, that woman sit there and got all them, the trifactors. So let's see what's going on here. All right, let's see. Spirit, why is this Queen of Cups here for Scorpio? And why is her back going the other way? So Queen of Cups for Scorpio, why is this here? Queen, doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's for you Scorpios. King of Pentacles. That's in the wrong deck. So I'm going to keep it in here, though. All right, this Queen of Cups. What's going on with this Queen of Cups for Scorpios? What type of energy is she in? What's going on with her? Strength. I feel like you're resisting somebody because I could tell because your back looked like it's turned here. And it may be hard for you, especially as the Queen of Cups. You're really trying to hold back from this. From See there? Y'all need to stop. Oh, Scorpios. I feel like something has a hold on you. I feel like this relationship has a hold on you. For whoever this is for, because check it out. And I'm not going to do the reverses. I'm just going to clarify. Because uh, I ain't doing them, okay? <laughs> Queen of Cups, Strength card, Four of Wands, The Magician, The Empress, and The Four of Swords. I feel like y'all done shut it down, Scorpios. And I feel like you're... You're, I feel like you're trying not to think about this person here because with this strength card here, I feel like you're trying to gain control back over that you once had of yourself for somebody. And I feel like you don't want to listen to your emotions at this time because you don't want to deal with that. Especially when you're trying to gain control back over yourself, your situation. It's almost like you're trying to create the harmony that you once had. You want it back. And I feel like you're going to get it, Scorpio, with this magician card and this empress energy. You could be dealing with the Pisces, a Leo, <clears throat> Libra, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. This is what I feel like you're doing. So it's almost like it ain't personal, cross watcher, but... <clears throat> If Scorpio walks away, Scorpio is not going to sit around here and just fall off. It's like Scorpio goes through this, 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 this change, this transformation, but they're not going to come out the same. Man, they're not going to come out the same. And I'm sure you've noticed this cross watchers. You, you can tell the change. It's something that you did to them. It's like it throws their whole energy off. See, once you once you really get the attention and the emotions of a Scorpio, you better seize the opportunity because when Scorpio is done and Scorpio see, like I said, I feel like you're trying to get out of your emotions for this person. But some of you guys keep on thinking about this person could be this King of Swords could be this King of Swords here is trying to walk away. Or somebody is, like I say, they can't get you off of their mind. You may have walked away, but they're still thinking about you and they're still missing you. Ooh, but then, let me see. Yeah, see, this King of Swords is facing this, yeah. That's what it is, so see. 
Oh my God, Scorpio, it's almost like y'all saying, look, I ain't studying nobody. I'm trying to get my own self together here. And I feel like this is exactly what you're doing. It's almost like you are getting your power back here at all costs and you're putting yourself first because you want to live. You want to be happy. You know that you deserve so much better and you're going to get it with this magician car. You seem so determined and you seem like you're doing the right thing because you remember the Oracle said go within. And I feel like this is what you're doing by, by resisting. Uh, by resisting your emotions for this person or for the situation is going to make you stronger. All right, why is the Page of Swords here for Scorpios, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius? So this Page of Swords. Page of Swords. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Page of Swords for Scorpios. Ooh, boy, if I tell you these cards, Scorpio. The King of Swords. See there? Now they, not, now, I told you somebody's talking about it. They go to King of Swords again, different deck. <laughs> oh, y'all, when y'all are, look, now they thinking here. They're thinking about something here. They're not making any moves, but they're, they're either watching you, observing you. I wonder what is this person doing? See, they're holding back, but I feel like they're about to, see, this person got too much going on in their energy. It's like this person is indecisive. They want to call you. They want to come around you so bad. But they need to work against. They need to work against their work with what, what their issue is. Why is this page of swords here for this king of swords? And this is somebody here who is gathering your information or, or thinking about the things that they know about you or trying to see what have you been up to, especially if you have been resisting them, they may want to find out what are you doing these days. All right, Page of Swords. What you doing that you can't look at me and call me? Mm. Three of Cups. <laughs> Somebody may see you going out enjoying yourself. And like I say, if, you, if you're going out and living your life, they're not. <laughs> They said they ain't got time for all of that. You done left them in a, in, a, in a situation here. They said it's nice to see that you can still go out there and enjoy yourself, but I, I, I ain't able to do that right now. Wow, Scorpios. See, because they feel like you've done something to them and they haven't gotten over it with the three of swords in the reverse. Ooh. <laughs> For well, whoever this is for, somebody feel like you did something to them. And they don't understand how you able to go out there and out out because you the empress here. I feel like this person feels some type of way. They may feel like that's not fair, especially with this three of swords here. King of wands in the reverse, but see, and they go to queen of cups. Oh, my gosh. What's up with this page of swords and this king of swords? Give me one more card for this person. What's going on here? The moon. See, they don't know what you're doing here. See, that's why you got the page of swords. <laughs> oh, you know, it's true. Let me show you in the bottom of this deck again. Eight of cups. Six of cups. King of Swords, there they go again. And they go that same ten of wands that they toting. And you know what? It's a burden. They don't know what you're doing here because you've pulled back your energy. You've taken back control over your life because you refuse to be treated any kind of way. You refuse to be, you refuse to not get what the heck you deserve, god dang me, in this empress. You got a lot of love to give, but I feel like you're gonna resist this person until. They can give you what you desire, which is some type of commitment here. Page of Swords here is the same King of Swords. They trying to check you out. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. And like, I feel like somebody may be feeling like maybe you're out here dating here. How you out here dating? <laughs> you must be out here dating. They must be trying to see if you're dating here. And like I say, they don't like it because they like, well, damn, how are you out here dating? You are like you ain't did nothing to me. You are like you innocent. See there? And I feel like it's the fear. The fear of this person not knowing if you're out here dating other people, Scorpio. See? So 
Somebody fears that you're dating other people. Wow, Scorpio. That's what they fear. That's why they that's why they're thinking about trying to come back with that King of Swords with the Six of Cups. <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio, this is a doozy. All right, now what's up with this page of wands? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Clarify the page of wands. You got Pisces here with the moon. Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands here. This person may feel like you, <clears throat> the, you got the nine of cups and they go to judgment. Mm, they go to queen of pentacles and the nine of wands here. Let's see. Page of wands, some type of good news. Maybe this person trying to come in here. I feel like, like I, like I felt like in your pre-shuffle, I feel like there's messages with the knight of swords. That some in the King of Swords that somebody wants to talk to you because like I feel like somebody fears that you're out here dating other people, Scorpios. They fear that. See, they, they feel like you living your best life here, Scorpio. They feel like you ain't worrying about them. I feel like you. I feel like somebody whoever if you're resisting your person and you're not talking to them and you just living your life then they fear you are dating other people because they're trying to find out, okay? I feel like this person is trying to build the courage to come communicate with you. But I feel like this person is not as confident as they would like to be because you got a page, page of, pen, page of wands, the seven of wands here. May, maybe they feel like if they come that there's going to be some type of altercation between the two of you. Let's see, it, unless, they're, unless they're blocked. Page of wands, seven of wands. Mm. Came out anyway, King of Pentacles. So a King of Pentacles here, and they go Justice here. And they go to Queen of Swords. Justice, the Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, and they go to Wheel of Fortune. For some of y'all, <clears throat> could be for whoever. I keep saying for some of you guys is you don't have a third party. For other people, you may be dealing with somebody who has somebody else, okay? But you may have pulled your energy back because you don't want to deal with drama. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. I got me some greens cooking. <laughs> I need my greens, y'all, and I forgot. Give me one second. Pardon me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Pardon me. I hit the edit. I went on the turn to fire off. Yeah. So this, this is, like I said, for some of you guys, there could be somebody here who had had another situation here, which is why maybe you pulled your energy back. Maybe it's why you walked away. You just, it's almost like if, if you were dealing with somebody that you found out that could have been married or already in some type of situation, I feel like what you are doing is prioritizing your life and making yourself your main priority now. Okay. Um, you know, I know it sounds weird, but I'm just saying, because with this Empress and the Queen of Cups, I feel like you are manifesting things for yourself. But at the same time, you also it's almost like you're getting your power back because the Empress alone is represents a lot of greatness, a lot of abundance. But to be associated with this four of wands and the magician card here, even the strength card, because you're, you're, you're showing somebody here that either. They didn't put it down like they thought they did or like they should have. Or you're not as gullible as they thought. You know, maybe you had to flex on somebody here. But I feel like you're not flexing on anybody. I just feel like you, you, you're doing a power move here, okay? You're doing a Scorpio power move. Everybody knows the Scorpio power move 101. Uh, shout out to the cross watchers. I think you just got Scorpio power moved 101. Okay. Um, you know, when, when Scorpio feel like Scorpio is pushed into a wall, Scorpio always travails and prevails regardless here. You done put, took your power back here now, Scorpio. Now they are worried. Okay. So this could be somebody here, here who looking at their status as a, as a boss here saying, you know what, <laughs> I ain't scared of you. I'm often to come on and come, you know, uh, or, or, or maybe somebody is saying you're being childish here, um, not, not communicating with them or not talking to them. 
somebody here coming around here saying that, look, I'm somebody and you can't scare me off, okay, with that seven of wands. There's somebody here that is just looking at you like, I know who you are, but, but let me show you who I am is what I get. Page of wands, seven of wands, the king of pentacles. <laughs> Nine of cups. <laughs> Oh, snap, like, like, like I feel like this is what somebody is saying. Something like somebody saying, I bet I can get your attention. Yeah, I see you over there flexing on me. And yeah, you, you too good. You know, you don't want to talk to me or whatever. Okay, yeah, maybe I effed up. Okay, maybe I did this. You know, maybe I didn't do that. Okay, okay, I screwed up. But I see you flexing, but God dang, I bet I can still get you. I feel like this, I feel like, I feel like this makes this person wants you more, actually, Scorpio. You doing this power move with all this powerful energy, taking your power back. Only thing it does is make them want you more, Scorpio. That's all it do. Because they ain't no fool they was before. See, they go to judgment card. Like I said, this person say, I, I already know who, but I, I got to be, if I'm going to be real with myself, then I got to go towards what makes me happy in that nine of cups. See, the judgment. But they wound itself again, Ace of Swords. See? All right, judgment for Scorpio. Why is this here? Judgment. The Six of Wands. Victory is yours, Scorpio. You're going to get it. Judgment in your favor because you got just, justice here too. There is a yes. That is a yes for you, my love. I said Scorpios, it is a yes. <laughs> All you got to do is say yes. Open up your heart, Scorpio, let me love you, baby. <laughs> you make me so, 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 so. You make me so, 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 so. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Shout out to Floor Tree. All right, so see, they go the Wheel of Fortune and they go the Lover's Car. See, somebody trying to get their lover back is what I feel like. It's like, it's like somebody saying, yeah, 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 I see you, but yeah, I play your game. If, if it means I'm going to win, yeah. What, playing your game, baby? Your game, baby. Scorpio, they said they're going to they they play your game if it means that they're going to win you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, huh? Judgment, six of wands. See that Wheel of Fortune and Lover's card in the Page of Swords again. I feel like this person wants to know if you got another lover. Oh, they go to Ace of Wands or they're saying, baby, you're my lover. You're mine. All right, judgment. They're saying it's you. They go to Hermit card, Virgo energy. Did I see the Hermit card over here before? Oh, that was in the pre-shuffle. Six of Wands here. It could be somebody here trying to figure out how to get your attention. Because I feel like some of you guys may have isolated yourself. Like I said, somebody wants to talk. They want to be in your company. They want to see, they want to see what you're doing. See, this person, this person don't like feeling left, feeling left out. Five of swords, but they probably did it. Maybe they were detached here. Maybe they was, maybe they had something else going on. All right, spirit judgment. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Another page. Show us a lot of pages in here. So see, this is why some of y'all probably got away from this person. But remember, your pre shovel you had the uh, Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe this person is judging themselves by how they gave. Because like I said, you got the Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. You got all of the pages in here, Scorpios. See, maybe this is what it is. How is a boss... Constantly coming around with page energy. I'm just saying. See, I feel like this is what they're judging themselves for. This is why they lost you, Scorpios, because I feel like somebody here may have been cold and felt like. I'm sure they was getting a lot of good love because you got the Queen of Cups up against this King of Swords here. 
But I feel like this person was more invested into their material things that maybe they were just too selfish here. That's what I feel here because they got all these pages here, but you got judgment with the six of wands. Something is coming to this person's attention here. They're, they're having to recognize it because this person could be being hip to why you're not around them today, Scorpios. I feel like this person is having to answer the reason why and they may not like what they see because they may be the cause of it. Judgment, which they probably are, judgment. They probably wasn't fair to you. See, Queen of Swords. Now you got the Queen of Swords here. They go their Wheel of Fortune and the Lover's card here. See, they got the Queen of Swords to this person. So see, this person trying to figure out why have you changed? Why have you pulled back? Why are you so cold and detached from them now, Scorpios? And it's almost like they're playing back in their mind things that have been happened between the two of you. Even the roles that they played or even the lack thereof. They're having to look at all these things because they don't have your energy anymore. You've taken back your power here and you've isolated yourself from this person. Like I say, some of y'all may really be going within and staying connected. And you just had you just, you know, you're just keeping your distance from mess while you continue to grow and elevate in your own life. Because with this magician card and this, some of you guys are moving. Some of you guys may have just bought a new home here. But I feel like you demand harmony in your life here, Scorpios. And I feel like you, if there was a, a disruption in your peace, you're taking it back. So now somebody's trying to figure out how you went from the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Swords and they're realizing, Scorpio, that maybe they were not putting in enough work. You remember what I said in the beginning? Some people, some people don't want to put in no work at all and want to get the results. I feel like maybe this person was doing the bare minimums here, Scorpios. They probably wasn't showing you that they appreciated you in this King of, King of Swords because they probably really would just focus on their money. But they love to suck your love out you, though. But they probably wasn't. They probably they probably was taking way much more than they were given. That's why the justice card keeps showing up. And this is why they're trying to figure out where did things go wrong? Where did they go wrong? And tell me, can we fix it? <laughs> All right, death. <laughs> That's how wrong y'all went. <laughs> death. Six of Pentacles, see? You may have felt like this person was giving their energy attention to other things other than you. Or maybe they wasn't giving anything. Temperance here. I feel like the things ended between, could be dealing with a Sagittarius, things ended between you and this person because this person wasn't giving nothing, Scorpio. Now they go to Nautica, see? Because I feel like this person was emotionally immature. So see, this person's having to deal with a lot of things because you got the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups. See? So this person wasn't being honest. So this person could have been given to another situation here too, Scorpio. This person could have been out there like that. But I feel like whatever it is, it's an end. You put an end to it. Because you, you got the Six of Pentacles next to the Death card here. With the temperance card, you could have been giving this person time to see what they were going to do. And they probably still never came with it. Probably because they may have went somewhere else. Or maybe you're deciding to take your love elsewhere. All right, one more card for death. The world. See? Completion cycle. Closing out something here. You're just putting an end to it. And you just like, I'm done with this. No, this is draining. Love can be draining when you're dealing with somebody here who don't know what they want, Scorpio. Who wants to deal with that? I'm telling you, use it after relationships. You're going to have to heal. Most people don't want to heal. They're going to go on that end date or they have already had a side piece on the side. They're just going to spend more time with the side piece. And you know the side piece going to want the commitment. They're going to be like, dang, I just got out of something. <laughs> got the five of pentacles. Now I wonder who is this? I feel like this is them. Because I'm getting the impression that somebody here may have been a penny pincher here. Oh, that's the three of pentacles. That was the five. Three of pentacles. Partnership, working together, collaboration here. Uh, let's see. Three of pentacles. 
Why is this Three of Pentacles here for Scorpios? Three of Pentacles. The Fool cards, like this person ready to spend some money. They go justice. They go to Will of Fortune. This person. So this person here may have had their options open here. But I guarantee you for whoever this is for, they definitely choose you. Because you got the Lover's card here. Page of Swords. They're not looking for anybody else with the Page of Swords. They not already chose you. See there, Scooby? They done already chose you. The Spirit said they're not looking for nobody else. They looking for you. They too busy sniffing around your neighborhood, checking your trash cans, looking for evidence. Looking in your car, seeing if there any numbers around. Look. <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. This person feels like something is changed. So either this is what this, per this person wants to work as a partnership, but I feel like this is what some of you guys may be about to do. You may end up, because of some type of work-related things, something dealing with business, money, or uh, opportunity here, you're going to have to meet this person. You're going to have to see this person. And for some of y'all, you're going to end up getting back with this person. here. They're not looking for nobody else, Scorpio. They're not. They're looking for you. So now you have justice again. Spirit, why is justice here for Scorpio? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Pisces, Taurus, Scorpio. All right, justice. Nine of Wands. Why? Because you was guarded. They go to Ace of Swords. They go to Five of Swords. I feel like this person here has been through a lot. And it could represent you too. But you standing so powerful here. It's almost like you're in a better position than they are. Because I feel like you tapped in spiritually. I feel like this person is not doing so good. It's because they know that they lost you, Scorpio, because they're looking at themselves and they're looking at their faults and they realize why you're not giving love now. You're giving them the cold shoulder like they gave you, you know, you, you, you pull your energy back. You took your power back and the stronger you get, the lesser you're going to want them. So, but I feel like this person here is almost like this person saying, you know what? I done made a lot of mistakes. I done did a lot of things, but I'm trying to make this one thing right with Scorpio. Justice for Scorpio. Because you're worth it. You're the empress. Somebody see. Because see? this person was doing mess. Because I feel like this person didn't want to admit something. Maybe this person was not being honest. I feel like, see. Something came to light with this person. See, like I say, this person's judged. But they're looking at all of this. Something came to light. With that moon car here. Maybe it was them with a third party here. But you got the Knight of Wands. You got the Death card here. So something came to an end. Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, King of Cups. They may feel like you have somebody else, Scorpio. Or they may, somebody may be saying that. What's that song? Baby, I deserve. Baby, I deserve. You know, that song by Tank is almost like they saying, well, I deserve it then. You know, if I did all these things, then they probably do. They deserve this. It's what they saying. That's why you have justice here. See? Death. Because you ain't going to put up with it. You didn't put up with it or you finally moved away from it. Got the death card twice and the eight of cups here. I feel like you, like I say, you took back your power, Scorpio, because you were tired of stressing out over this situation here. One more card here for justice and death. See, that's their karma, see, because they were reckless with this Knight of Wands energy, Scorpios. So in a sense, they're getting back karma too, Scorpio, because... Um, they're, they don't want nobody else. They're not trying to pursue nobody else because they're too busy sniffing up behind your life, wanting you back. And I feel like somebody's got a taste of reality. They have to see things from a different perspective. They have to see things because they've been illuminated. Spirit has shown this person how you went from loving to the Queen of Swords towards them. It's because they were in the King of Swords and in, 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 in the Knight of Wands energy only focus about their they money or maybe they had something else going on because you got the seven of swords. 
So yeah, they're to blame. So their karma now is that now they're trying to figure out what you got going on, why they probably can't even get in contact with you or find you, Scorpios. Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Scorpios? Ooh. Eight of Cups. Walking away from something and, and moving. Ooh, see, like I said, something happened. They go to Two of Cups. Like I said, somebody could have le left another city. Somebody could have been hiding or something else because you got the Seven of Swords and a Moon card. Somebody could have been hiding something. They could have been detached because they had something else going on. But once again, it looks like somebody here is walked away. Maybe they left, maybe they left you, Scorpio. Maybe they walked away from you. Ten of Cups for someone else. See, they go that King of Pentacles again. See? Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. I feel like this person. Oh, you got the work. Wait. You got the Wheel of Fortune. I said something was changing because something is changing. Okay, so you do have the World card here. So something is changing here. Now, whether it's changing in your person's life, something is happening in your person's life. That's why they're receiving a lot of karma. They're under judgment. And like they're doing a lot of soul searching and spirits revealing a lot of things to them because it could be that they're taking losses here. Could have been that that they just want to be happy again. Get another card. Give me another card for this page of wands with this nine of cups. Page of swords here. See, they want you. See, they go to ace of wands. The secrets out. Got the high priestess here. Mm. Or they're ready to communicate now. I feel like somebody wants you to talk now, Scorpio. But I feel like I feel like they're ready to talk now, Scorpio. Ain't that something? But I feel like you don't care. There's no need now. It's like you don't need that now. What's up with this Ten of Cups and this King of Pentacles? What is this about? The soulmate connection here. Look, there go the page of wands again. Just repeating itself here. <sighs> Once again, Scorpios, what I feel like is this person may have been a soulmate. You guys may have had a lot of love for each other, but maybe their money is tied up somewhere. Cause I don't see them offering much. I don't see it. You see the Ace of Wands. See the Two of Cups. They're, they're sitting as the King of Pentacles. You got the Three of Pentacles working together, but I don't see, I don't see much coming from this person here. It's almost like somebody here, it's almost like somebody cannot have you, Scorpio, is what I feel like. It's almost like Somebody has did this. They have lost you is what I feel like. It's almost like spirit is protecting you from this energy because I feel like the tables are turning on this person, Scorpio, is what I feel like. Because you got the three of pentacles, the fool, justice, the will of fortune, and the lover's card. This person could have missed, you know, this person could have not been so kind to you. This person could have had another situation here. This person could have hid things, this person could have manipulated, this person could have just did a lot of negative things. But I felt like you done took your power back, Scorpio. And this is the re see, once you take your power back, they become weak because they cannot, uh, you know, they cannot tower over you. They cannot uh, control you or have an effect over you. And now I feel like now this person, whatever life they got going on, their life consists of trying to figure out what you doing, Scorpios. But they, I feel like there's a lot of deep regret here too, because spirit has also shown them uh, the reason why you don't want to F with them no more. This queen of swords, maybe why you done start cussing them out and ain't don't give a crap. Because once again, you got the page of pentacles, you got pages, pages, pages. It's almost like you're around here stomping hard like a king of pentacles, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't dropping nothing. But you, you cannot do that with a empress because she's abundant on her own. She's not going to put up with you. She, I don't see no emperor. They may have did that for a little while with this queen of cups. 
But this Queen of Cups had to uh, commit and go within and hide out. And now they're looking crazy and they still don't have nothing much to offer. What they got to offer, you got the Knight of Wands. Still see the seven of swords, you ended some things because this person wasn't being honest about something. Yeah, they are a soulmate. Yeah, they could still have love for you, but they ain't got nothing to offer you. See, I don't see, I don't see nothing. Okay, your last card. I'm, I'm my bad, y'all done made this too long. All right, you got the page of cups. Now you got the page of cups. Why is the page of cups here for Scorpios? Page of cups. Page of Cups, the King of Swords, see? Whew. Like I said, Scorpio, I feel like you're too good for them, okay? It's almost like somebody still want to pick off of this majestic tree and they, they can't even afford it. See, there they go with their burdens again. This person's burdened down. They could be burdened down because, see there? Seven of Swords, now either they're burdened down because they're hiding something here and they know it ain't right, so it could be somebody here who was stomping around here in the King of Pentacles trying to act like they bossing, but maybe they really ain't got it like that. But once again, this person is hiding something. That's my other card. Page of Cups. This is my clarify. Oh, no. My bad. Page of Cups. Let's see. All right. Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for Scorpios? Page of Cups. This person just got on my nerves, Scorpio, the hangman. It's at a standstill, it's on a delay. I feel like they want to get it out of delay, but they can't get to you. Because some of y'all ain't making y'all self available to them. Ace of Cups, see? That's what they want, see? Ace of Wands, didn't I tell you? If they wasn't talking to you and the King of Swords, they want to know all about you now. Now they, now they want to break the silence here. They're ready to talk now because they want to know what you're doing. Because they ain't got nothing to offer, but they, it's like they're not, they're not offering much, but they want it all, okay? And they don't freaking deserve it, okay? And for some of y'all, they do not deserve you, okay? All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. I'm sorry it took so long, but if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I love you, and I, I, I'm going to do another one. I'm, this, this person kind of pissed me off. I'm just like, ew, you ain't got no aces around here. <laughs> You ain't got no emotions. I'm trying to see something other than this narcissistical energy. And I just get tired of these self-absorbed energies. I always want to suck, suck, suck. But like I said, Scorpio, you don't need this person. You're doing very good on your own. And for some of you guys, you're going to manifest a harm, a, 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 reun, a relationship, relationship somewhere else. You do got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands here. Don't mean that it's going to be with them, but you do have it in your energy, Scorpio. And like I say, you got justice, so you're going to get justice regardless. But I feel like they're going to get judgment. All right, Scorpio, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.